Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on preclinical pharmacology. Today we will discuss about new topic that is MTT assay. This assay is widely used for in vitro cytotoxicity study. Now we will see what is an MTT assay. It is a colorimetric assay that measures cell viability, proliferation and cytotoxicity. Means it is widely used for studying the cytotoxicity activity or to check the viable cells uh, present in the well plates. Now we will see the principle of MTT assay. The MTT assay is based on principle that metabolically active cells, particularly those with active mitochondria, can reduce the NLO tetrazoleum salt, that is 3,4,5-dimethylthiazole to 5 diphenyl tetrazoleum bromide that is called as MTT into a purple formazone crystals. Means the principle uh, suggests that when uh, when there is a uh, MTT is yellow color dye which when emerged into the 96 well plates or in the cells in that if the cells are active then the yellow MTT will con convert to purple color formazone. Formazone is nothing but the promogenic compound or promogenic product when uh, when but only when the mitochondrial dehydrogenase enzyme is active then only the yellow mtt will convert into purple formazone but if the cell is dyed or uh, mitochondria in the cell has been dyed then the yellow mtt will never convert to purple formazone it will remain as yellow color only so it is used for uh, studying the cell viability or cell viability uh, assessment. It is widely used. Now we will see the key steps in MTT protocol. Then what, how to perform the MTT assay? We will see that the first step is cell seeding. Cell seeding means we have to seed the cells in 96 well plate at an appropriate density. As shown in this diagram, that is the 96 well plates which is used for performing this study and we have to put the uh, cells in that wells. The cells may be MCF7 that is breast cancer cell or liver cancer. Various types of cells, uh, cancer cells can be used for study. Then incubate for 12 to 24 hours to allow the cell attachment to well plates. Then next uh, step is treatment. We have to add test compound that is our test drug or any extract in a desired concentration include control wells example for uh, it can be untreated or vehicle control incubate for the desired treatment duration which is maybe commonly which is commonly 24 to 72 hours then next step is mtt reagent addition then we have to prepare the mtt solution to preparing it usually 5 mg per ml in pbs or culture medium then we have to add 10 to 20 micro uh, microliter of mtt solution in each well then incubate for 2 to 4 hours at 37 degree celsius then if the cells are viable then it will reduce mtt to insoluble forms in crystals then the formazone op obtained, then we have to do the solubilization of that formazone, then carefully remove the media without disturbing the crystals. It is the optional step, but mostly have uh, many protocols follow it. Then add solubilizing agent, commonly DMSO or acidified isopropanol or STS in acidified solvent. Shake the plate gently for 10 to 15 minutes to fully dissolve the crystals. Then the next step is measurement of absorbance. To read the absorbance, uh, read means we have to read the absorbance at 570 nanometer using microplate reader or spectrophotometer. A reference wavelength, we can keep it at 630 to 690 nanometer, which can be used to subtract the background. Then next steps is data analysis steps. In this, we have to do background correction. How to analyze data for that uh, blank wells should be considered. Then in that blank wells, only the culture medium or MTT reagent served as serving as control for background absorbance uh, correction or comparison. Then correction process we can take by, uh, do by single wavelength measurement. 
for subtract the average absorbance of blank wells from all sample readings and for dual wavelength measurement if reference wavelength is 630 nanometer which is used alongside as uh, alongside the primary wavelength that is 570 nanometer subtract the reference absorbance from primary to correct for optical imperfections then the next step is calculating cell viability. The formula for calculating cell viability percent is equal to uh, mean absorbance of treated cells divided by mean absorbance of control cells into 100. In that controls are positive and negative. Positive control are the untreated cells representing 100% viability and negative controls are wells without cells to determine background absorbance. Normalization strategies means the uh, purpose of this normalization strategies is to account for variations in cell number or metabolic activity that might influence or absorbance reading means uh, these strategies are used to check whether the, our mtt is showing proper absorbance or not or showing going in a right path for that we can conduct various parallelases like crystal violet staining to determine cell number or normalizing MTT result accordingly. Then protein quantification in which we can measure the total protein content as an indicator of cell number for normalization. Now the next step is dose response curve and IC50 determination. Means dose response curve and IC50 determination means dose response means at what dose the what uh, activity or cell activity has been shown in that we can uh, Know, uh, know the response of each dose on the cells and IC50 is nothing but the inhibitory concentration in which the 50% of cell dies. For that um, process we have to do uh, plot cell viability percentage against varying concentration of tested compound. Then feed the data to the sigmoidal dose response curve to visualize the effect. Then calculate the IC50 value indicating the concentration at which the compound inhibits 50% of cell viability. As shown in this figure, uh, we can see that the downwards the concentration is given and on x-axis it is given that the percent cell viability normalized against vehicle treated control. Means we can uh, know by this graph at what concentration, what effect has been shown. And IC50 can be determined uh, in the next diagram. It is given that uh, various uh, concentration is given. But at 10.41 micromolar, the IC50 or more 50% uh, uh, cells has been died. So it is an inhibitory concentration of that specific study or assay. Then some, there are some pitfalls of this assay that is uh, metabolic activity versus cell number means MTT measures metabolic activity which may not always correlate it directly with the cell number. Factors affecting metabolism can influence the result. Then interfering substance. Some compounds may interact with the MTT or formazon leading to skewed or fake result. It's essential to include uh, include appropriate controls to identify such interferences. Then this MTT has some limitation that MTTS is an endpoint measurement and doesn't provide information on cell proliferation over time. Complementary assays can be necessary for comprehensive analysis. For this statistical analysis, replicates first doing this statistical analysis ensure the experiments are performed in triplicate or more to obtain reliable data means to uh, confirm the to obtain the more proper data we have to uh, do the assay more than two times analysis is done calculate the mean absorbance and standard deviation okay. for each condition use statistical tests like ANOVA or T test to determine okay. the significance differences between the group means this test can be used applications of MTT assays now, where this MTT assay can be used for cytotoxicity testing, cell proliferation study, drug screening and development, and assessment of three-dimensional cell cultures. In this field, it can be used. Then, advantages and limitations of this assay. Advantages is that it is ease of use, not uh, hard technology is used in this. Then, widely used and established, many, many people use this. It is relatively sensitive and quantifiable assay. 
then limitations of this assay is that interference from various compounds may various compounds may interfere the uh, interfere with the uh, mtt compounds and may vary the result then itself cytotoxicity of mtt then metabolic dependency and potential for misinterpretation or fake false result these are the some limitations of mtt assay yes, thank you like and subscribe the video.